Hello everybody, this is Dr. Myra Salcedo and I want to welcome you to uh, the Rhetoric of Religion, Teaching Not Preaching, and it's how do we talk about religion in the classroom. Now, I have designed this course primarily for teaching at the university level. However, students that have enrolled are interested in teaching in lower levels than that, younger students, and I'm going to address that. So the course is not set in stone. You will be able to write about your interests, and I will do some research and find work to help you with what you are most interested in. Um, the books are Critic, Critics Not Caretakers, uh, Redescribing the Public Study of Religion. This is your naysayer. Uh, I like Russell T. McCutcheon quite a bit uh, because he dissects uh, religion. And if I were to guess his religion, I would say he's an atheist. And in my 13 years of teaching, I have had believers and non-believers kind of butt heads in the classroom. And so I try to find a way in my dissertation for people to talk civilly about their beliefs or non-beliefs. Because as you get into more diverse classrooms, you're going to find different types of beliefs, even though Texas is predominantly Christian and most of the country is. You're going to get students from other countries. And uh, I will try to break this down a little bit um, and bring in some more study for lower classes since we seem to have a lot of teachers enrolled and it's a small enrollment. I'm working on getting more people in the classroom. Also, our other book is Encountering Faith in the Classroom, Turning Difficult dis Discussions into Constructive Engagement. And that's what it's all about. And you'll get a mirror image of the book because of my webcam. But I have also brought in other readings that are easier readings. Uh, but they make valid points. Sorry, once you know my cell phone will go off. Anyways, uh, critics, not caretakers. This is graduate level reading. It's difficult. Uh, you do not have to understand everything that he says. Sometimes I don't understand everything that he says, and I have a PhD in rhetoric. Uh, but the point is to uh, see how he dissects religion, takes it down, and makes students define terms in religion and what they're talking about. So I want to tell you, get started in the course. Don't wait. I need your ID authentications. Uh, you hold a photo next to your face, do a selfie, and send that in. It's worth 10 points, but every point counts. And uh, the, in your first assignment is to try to find the same story, some issue, any issue that you want, and uh, find it in two different sources, news sources. You can type in the Pope News, just type in Pope News in Google and see what comes up, what newspapers come up, and try to find newspapers that have clashing ideas on the Pope. And try to, and if you don't find clashing, just say how the words are perceived to persuade you to one idea or another. So the first assignment may be a little bit different. It's about rhetoric. And rhetoric is the means of persuasion. And the greatest language of persuasion is the language of religion. And this is partly because words like holy and sacred 
imply that the divine exists and some people don't believe something can be holy or sacred so that's an eye-opener that was an eye-opener for me when I was um, doing my dissertation and then you're going to have some other people that believe completely in the definitions so definitions are theories in miniature and I stole that idea from McCutcheon critics not caretakers it's harder to read but there's some fun reading in the class and now that you've done the introductions I have an idea of what you want to get out of this class and we'll bring in maybe exchange readings so you get what you want in this class so if you look it over don't panic it's not um, set in stone I will work to help you with your own research and your own interests and also I need to weight the grades they're not weighted so I need to do that in the next couple of days to get help with that to weight the grades in canvas so you will know what your actual grades are but do get started on assignment one send your uh, ID and read the discussion board on introductions and see who's in your class I only have six in the class and one person is not checked in yet which I'm trying to reach him today uh, I needed five at the graduate level for the class to make so just hang in there we're going to do this and we're going to do it together and I think it'll be a fascinating uh, journey for all of us and I'm so excited to teach this course I really am and I'm glad to see the motivation and the enthusiasm of the students that have enrolled. So this is your first video. I just wanted to say welcome to the course and soldier on. And if you have questions, uh, email me, text me, and the text numbers in the syllabus. And uh, just, just keep going. And I love your enthusiasm and your introductions already. They're wonderful. So I have great expectations, even though we may be a small class, more may join uh, in the next day or two, but it, it, at least uh, it, it'll be a great class. And I think everybody's going to be very civil, and that's what it's all about. If the world was civil about discussing religions, it would be a different place. So... Uh, I'll see you in the next video.